I'm Tanuke. My last name's Oye Fule. You say all the letters and you make it rhyme. Tanuke Oye Fule. Um, I have an old school fear of speaking in public. So I got up here tonight because I was like, I was really scared to talk yesterday at another thing. So I'm like, I'm going to talk tonight and say some stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's me. And I was raised by immigrants. Anybody else in here raised by immigrants? No immigrants? Support DACA? Yes? Um, <laughs> so, like, in my house, I had one upbringing that was super old school, and then I'd go into the world and have to, like, adjust and stuff. And the toughest part about having, like, an old school name like Tanuke, which means blessed from the beginning in Yoruba, in case anyone, if anyone feels like traveling to Nigeria, West Africa, now you speak some Yoruba, you know my name, um, is when, like, someone tries to like give you a new identity, or in my case, like try to give me a whole new name, like, like when I go to Starbucks and stuff, I'll, uh, y'all already know. Like I go to Starbucks, I walk in, and I'll go to get like a, a, a tall, dirty chai, because it's sweet and it's spicy, just like me. <laughs> and I'll go to the barista, I'll say hi, I'll have a tall, dirty chai, they'll be like, name. I'll say, Tanuke. The barista looks at me like, Tahuke and just like scribble something on the cup and passes it to the second counter. I get to the second counter and I go to pick up my drink and it says something on it like Tamika. Tamika's cool, I'm sure she is, but like I'm not Tamika. <laughs> I'll go like the next day and I'll have like hopeful expectation. I'll be like, all right, all right, I'm gonna get my sweet and spicy drink. I'll pick it up at the second counter. This time it says Tanika. That's okay. I'll go back the third day and I'll be like, all right, this is the day I'm ready, I have new hopes, new dreams, it's a new day. I'll pick up my sweet and spicy drink and this time it says Tijuana. <laughs> now that's fine, but Tijuana is a country in Mexico. It's not your ex-cousin's brother's baby mama and it is not me. So, um, I mean, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with my name. It took me a while to grow into it though. I remember um, my parents gave me a backup name, my middle name, Christina. Just to use, okay, so the whole thing is Tinuke Christina Oyefule. So y'all know my whole name now. Y'all know all my <laughs> So I went to my parents, I was like, you know what? I'd like, to, I'd like to use my name, but I had to get the approval because these wonderful, amazing old school immigrants gave me this name. So I went to my mom, and uh, she's Jamaican, by the way. She's usually like in the kitchen, like making jerk chicken or something. I said, mom. I would like to use my middle name, Christina. And she's like, you want to go by Christina? You can't go by Christina. <laughs> but you have to remember, don't worry about a thing, because every little thing going to be all right. <laughs> my mom spoke to me in song lyrics all the time, <laughs> specifically old school songs by Bob Marley. And so, all right, so I got the proof of my mom, and then I had to go to my dad because he's the one who gave me the name Tanuke, like he's the one who speaks Yoruba. And so I was like, all right, dad, I'd, I'd like to go by Christina. And usually he was like locked away in his study watching something profound like the rise of Alexander the Great or, or Roseanne. <laughs> and I, I went to him and I said, dad, I, I, I would really like to go by Christina. I'm getting teased too much We're getting called Tanuke. And he said, all right. Tinuke. We are descended from royalty. Your name has meaning. My father was a chief. My dad's hella old school. My father's father was a chief. My father's father's father was not only a chief but also a doctor. <laughs> Therefore, they can call you Christina. But you must insist that they call you Princess Christina. So I went by Princess Christina for 10 years. <laughs> That's my story, y'all. Thank you for listening.